Hi, I'm Becky Eller of Becky's Craft Room. I usually really hate being in the pictures, but I thought today for my uh, 2014 uh, Acuca Craft Grand Mark Challenge entry that I would suffer through putting myself in a video for a few minutes. Okay, so let's now let's do a video walkthrough of my project. Okay, well I hope this video isn't like a million years long. Um, but anyway, uh, there's a lot of detail that went into this project. Uh, what I decided to do uh, for this year's Grammar Challenge was I'm mostly uh, a card maker and then after that some mini scrapbook albums uh, but I super love doing cards. A lot of the dies that I own have to do with cards and then accent things that go on cards. So this year I thought it would be super fun to do an explosion box that incorporates envelopes and card dies. So that's what I did. Um, also what I used uh, I used uh, the, the paper line that I used uh, was the Basil Basics uh, Vintage Lace and I used their paper pack and the 3x4 and the 4x6 journaling cards. So those are incorporated into this project also. Okay, so let's start at the outside. Okay, first of all uh, the um, I put 42 different AccuCut uh, products in here, 39 of their dies, two of the texture plates, and one of their retired uh, Zippy Slim dies. So I'm not going to put a huge list of that. What I'm going to do is provide the links to where I have written all that down, both on uh, the AccuCut uh, Craft website and also on my own blog. Okay, so here goes. We'll just try to do a quick visual run through of this. And then you can read all about it in great detail on my blog. Okay, here we go. Uh, on the outside, uh, I have this uh, tag window pocket. And this pulls out. And I also stamped some journaling lines on the back. So picture goes on the front and journaling lines on the back. And pretty much all the sides are the same. And then, let's see if I can get this in the camera here. Uh, and then on the lid, uh, I have these uh, great flowers. The the leaves is from the holiday flower set, and then I took a little embossing stylus and pressed some uh, vein lines in the leaves. Uh, I also used the polka dots textured plates, both on this uh, this mat right here, and also on one of the layers of the pink flowers. Okay, so are we ready to pop this whole thing open? Okay, here it goes. One, two, three, ta-da! <laughs> okay, so there are like a gazillion layers in here. Okay, I count, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I count seven uh, explosion box bases, and many of uh, the, the layers have sub-layers. Okay, so let's start with the outermost pocket. Um, the base, you can see here, um, that's one of the AccuCut die. Uh, I had uh, the Custom Shape Pros department make me a uh, custom die to do the base that connects the outermost layer together. Uh, and the base and the lid are actually both the same die, and then I just snipped the, the little connecting tags off to do the bottom. Okay, uh, here is the outer, the outermost layer is uh, an A7 envelope. Okay, and then what pulls out, and then one of the, then I have some mats here, and this pulls out, this is a card, one of their A7 cards, and then an A7 um, mat frame, and on the back, uh, I did, this is uh, one of their A2 um, Pinovation mat dies. I'll put the instructions there later, or details later. And then I just put the fold line right inside of one of the cutting lines and that gave me a little book shape. And uh, what I used uh, to stamp this with is a Hero Arts uh, stamp. See, this is like, yes. Uh, this is the, let me turn around, turn this around. This is the large notebook paper die, uh, so CG526. 
So that's what I use to do both this uh, inside shape and I stamp the journaling lines on that uh, window tag that's on the outside of the box. Okay. Now each of the... and then on... okay so we had this shape and it has the pull out mat and then on that side and then also on the opposite side of this one are some of those journaling cards and we have photo corners there. Now each one of the in this layer each one uh, has each of the pullout cards for each layer. Um, the back side has a different journaling card. So you can see that. Okay. Now also tagged to this first initial layer is I used um, one of their, uh, I use one of the shapes to be a hinge right here. It's kind of covered by both of these matte shapes. Um, okay, so I used, uh, there's one of their die shapes there, and then this is the, this lighter pink pocket, which if I, okay, if I pick this up over here, okay, it's not going to let me show, okay, so let me just shift this a little. You can kind of see it from the side. This is, so that's the bag sleeve shape, and then I just did a simple pull out uh, A7 frame for that. And then uh, attached to the front is an A2 card, and then that flips open. Let's see if I can pick this up a little. Okay, yeah, that's showing in the video, and then that flips open, and we have uh, some okay, that's sort of shown. Anyway, some uh, A2 frames there, and then I used um, the A2 tag pocket to create the pockets here, and then we have different journaling for each of the four sides of the explosion box. We have different journaling cards for each side. Okay, now, okay, so that's the first layer. Okay, let's do layer two. Okay, layer two is uh, an A7 card. This is the A7 pocket card. And so it has a little pull-out pocket that you can die cut. Okay, and then this, if you can see this, but I attached it with um, one of the note card dies, and the A7 card is five inches wide, and this pedal note card that has a circular shape on it is also five inches. So that became really convenient for uh, doing one of the box bases. And there's some accents there. Uh, I used uh, one of the, the, let's see if this texture is going to show up. Let me do it back and forth with the light. That's one of the texture plates that I used to make that card. And you'll see, so that's on the, this is on the, the this is a little pullout on the back side of that A7 pocket card. And this little um, tab shape, this is what I used from that retired um, AccuCut Zippy Slim die. Okay, here's this die. I love this die. I vote they put this back in the catalog <laughs> one way or another because it's super cute and I, I love this tab shape and these other tab shapes are really, really awesome. So, um, okay, so that's where that tab comes from. Let's slip that back in there. Okay. Okay, so that was layer two. Now let's move on to layer three. Okay, layer three is, um, let's see, let's scoot this closer so it's in the frame. Okay, that's better. Okay, layer three uh, is the A2. I've got an A2 envelope here, an A2 fold-out card on the front. You can see it. And uh, just put pattern paper mats on the inside. Okay. Now, the A2 card is glued to the front of the 
the A2 envelope. And so what I did to the envelope was I cut off one of the flaps so that it would be a, an open pocket. And then I have a little pull out. Here's an A2 mat. And that there's that tab shape. And then on the back side, oh, and these little have these cute little Velcro. I love these Velcro uh, uh, dots. These are so awesome. I sell them in my eBay store. Uh, I love them for cards. Uh, and they make great closures for other things. Okay, and so on the back side of this A2 layer, uh, this is the A2 uh, tag card. It has a pocket. And then that has a little tag that pulls out. Okay, so that's the third layer. And most of the box spaces on here, I just, uh, I custom my hand cut them. I did them uh, with a scoreboard. Um, okay, let's do, okay, so that was the third layer. And let's do the fourth layer. Now this fourth layer is the AccuCut Explosion Box uh, outermost layer. So that comes from one of their dies. And then what I did was I, I die cut um, the mat to go on top and I only glued it around the edges and so that gave me a pocket. And then on the front of that one, I think we can just start doing this. We'll just do back and forth, back and front. Okay, so here's this layer. We just looked at the back side. Here's the front side. And for this one, I, I used uh, one of the A7 um, matte frame dies to die cut this edge, and then I just cut off the edges so that it would be straight on all three sides, but then that I would have this shape here at the top. Okay, so that's the fourth layer in. Okay, now let's do the fifth layer. I created using uh, this, uh, this is from the album envelopes uh, die set. And I made that cute little pocket. And then uh, here it is on the back side. I put one of the journaling cards. And I made the cute little the cute little closure there that comes with the die and some one of their border shapes. Okay. And then oh, okay, so this is the and also so I, I attached that um, with kind of a little hinge system I tucked it under. Um, and it attaches to um, this is the second layer in of the AccuCut uh, explosion album die and I used uh, their matting shapes to create these pockets on the front. I just glued it down on three sides with some narrow uh, eighth of an inch score tape and that created some pockets and there's one of the AccuCut tag dies. Okay, and here it is kind of you can see on the other side there's that shape so there's a tag pull out on the back. Okay and so this um, this little pocket from the the album uh, envelopes set, and the second layer in uh, from the explosion box set, they go together. They're one la layer. Okay. All right. Uh, now the next layer in, uh, I used I created using uh, the. Um, a pocket and notch tag set. And that just has a simple pull out. Uh, the front is from the one of the accent frames and I just put the folded edge inside the frame and so that gave me a cute little book shape. And then on the, the back side uh, I just kind of the same concept again. I just I glued, uh, let's see, uh, I made a little pocket there for the back side and there's that tag. And then the final seventh layer uh, I made using one of the cute little pocket tags from one of the album sets and I'll put all the details on my blog. Uh, it's also uh, tagged on the AccuCut website in the project gallery which you'll have the link to below. Okay and so this last layer 
uh, that so cute little pockets and I made the little uh, hand cut the little uh, base and on each side of the base I glued a tagged uh, pocket to the front and that and I used the tag there and then the pocket and then on the back side it also has um, get my hand out of the way and that also has a pocket on the bag on the back and I use a little different um, pattern paper for the two different sides of that layer of the of the explosion box and then finally on the inside uh, I used uh, one of the AccuCut flower dies for that and then these little leaves are from the the holiday flower set Okay, so there is the big uh, walkthrough of my project. I hope you enjoyed looking. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I will fill you in as I can. Uh, if you want to know what particular uh, dies again that I use for everything, uh, follow the links here in the description and you'll see uh, layer by layer exactly which dies I use for this. Thanks for looking guys, appreciate it. Bye!